Batista has made his long-awaited return to the WWE Universe tonight officially. Welcome back everyone, this is Jason. This video is going to be covering uh, the go-home the go home episode of Monday Night Raw going into this coming Sunday's Royal Rumble and then I'm going to be doing some uh, discussion and preview predictions about uh, WWE's Royal Rumble 2014 coming up in less than a week. Um, pretty solid Raw. Um, we'll go over a few things. Uh, some of the matches that went on because not a lot of the matches had a, had a significant bearing on what's going to go on this Sunday. I mean, it maybe picked up a few things here and there, but um, not a lot to do with the rivalries or the Royal Rumble itself, but nonetheless, a pretty, pretty solid show. Um, uh, started out with the Shield beating, uh, well, started out with the return of Batista, uh, as far as it's not match-wise, but uh, Batista came back, he came out and confronted Randy Orton in the ring. The guy looks great. Uh, he just had his 45th birthday, and wow, <laughs> the guy looks uh, the guy looks lean, mean, and ready to go. Um, pretty psyched. Uh, the only thing is uh, those skinny jeans, man. They just <laughs> everybody and their uncle on uh, social media tonight was talking about those damn skinny jeans uh, from people in the WWE people in the WWE talking about it on social media to everybody that I saw on uh, you know ringsidenews.com Facebook everywhere I was looking those damn skinny jeans man Batista I don't know <laughs> but uh, nonetheless uh, great to see you back Batista you know really really awesome um, can't wait to can't wait to see what you do in the rumble um, <clears throat> So as far as matches go, uh, the Shield beat uh, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust and Big E, three on three. Um, uh, Seth Rollins actually got the pin on Big E. It's kind of interesting. Um, so you know the tag champs and the um, Intercontinental Champion are going into the Royal Rumble with losses. Uh, not looking, not looking strong before the pay-per-view. Um, Fandango beat uh, Xavier Woods. It's okay match. Quick one. Um, love both those guys. Good stuff. Uh, Punk beat Billy Gunn. No big deal there. Uh, Billy Gunn's going to be on the pre-show with uh, Road Dog. Our Road Dog. The uh, New Age Outlaws. That was announced tonight. Uh, Rio beat Rey Mysterio. And then, uh, because of all the stuff going on, social media going back and forth between uh, Alberto Del Rio and Batista, Batista decided to show up again partway through the show after uh, Rio got his win over Mysterio and uh, gave him a proper Batista bomb. It was awesome to see that. I was hoping it would happen somewhere in the show tonight. And uh, Big Show had a face off with Lesnar. Man, you, you want to talk about a, a good old school uh, rematch from like the Ruthless Aggression era? This is a good one. I, I'm, I normally wouldn't be that excited about this, but the, um, the buildup has been slow but steady. And, you know, you know Lesnar's back. He's been gone for a while, so this is, you know, they're really trying to, you know, build him up again, and, uh, man, Big Show's just not taking anything from him, <laughs> he just, last week he threw him around like a rag doll, like threw him, like, literally all the way across the ring, and, you know, bounced out of the ring under the ropes, this week, picked him up, threw him over his shoulder, out of the ring, and landed on the floor, just wow! It's, the Big Show is really whew, don't mess with the Big Show. <laughs> uh, uh, it'll it's it'll be a good brawl. Um, 
this Sunday. Uh, AJ was celebrating uh, her uh, accomplish, accomplishment of being the longest reigning diva. Uh, passed up Maurice the other day. And um, who else was at the top of that list? Michelle McCool, I think. I forget. But nonetheless, congrats to AJ. That's awesome. And uh, and she ended up putting a cake in Tamina's face, and then and then they ended up losing their match to the Funkadactyls, the Divas Tag Match. Uh, funny way to celebrate on Raw. Uh, uh, Usos beat the Wyatt family. It's an awesome match. You know, anytime you see the Shield on Raw or SmackDown or the Usos on Raw or SmackDown, you're guaranteed to see a five star tag match. Just no matter who they're with, it just they just do a great job. You know, the, the tag division is looking really solid, whereas a couple years ago it was looking pretty sick, I gotta say. Uh, sick in a bad way, that is. Uh, uh, Kofi against Orton. Um, and uh, Orton was going to try to, you know, get a little revenge on Kofi. And that match started out good, but the entire night we were waiting for Cena to show up. And, well, he uh, actually gave Orton a win because he attacked him. So he won by DQ, you know. Uh, and uh, as far as other big news of the night, uh, Daniel Bryan fans, yes, he is cleared to be in the Royal Rumble and fight this Sunday. Um, although, although he's not in the Royal Rumble, at least he hasn't been announced for it yet. At least I don't think so. But I'll go over the list in a minute. So that's Raw. You know, Raw was Raw was pretty solid. The ending, though, really weak. And Randy Orton ended up uh, getting his butt handed to him by Cena. Then they walked out of the arena, uh, chasing each other. Um, Orton left in the car. Cena came back in and was like, "Yay, yay me!" It's like, really, you know, it's, that's that's what you're gonna do before the your biggest showdown before the rumble is just going to run away and take off in a car. The, the most interesting I, thing I heard related to that was uh, I heard, I saw someone ask, well, who is driving the car? Who cares? <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> you know, the car is a hundred yards away from the cameraman. Can't see nothing. I don't, I don't think that's an issue, but, um, whatever it is, what it is. They're headlining the, uh, Royal Rumble. Well, not headlining, but you know they've got the the world title match. All right, so the pre-show for the Royal Rumble is a panel of oh three legends: um, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who won the first Royal Rumble some twenty some years ago, whatever it was. Uh, Ric Flair, who's also won a Rumble, and HBK. Uh, that should be a pretty interesting Legends panel discussing stuff pre-show, and I don't know if they're going to be doing stuff during the show, but nonetheless, that's going to be one of the panels there. Um, a pre-show match, which I don't understand why they're doing this. I don't understand half the pre-shows they do lately, other than, you know, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Damian Sandow must have been busy. <laughs> um, Rhodes Brothers, Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus the New Age Outlaws, Road Dog and Billy Gunn for the Tag Team Championship. Um, kind of interesting. Um, I'm actually going to pick the New Age Outlaws for this one, and I'll tell you why. Um, this is the start of the road to WrestleMania, and they're going to be starting rivalries over the course of the next month, figuring out who's going to face who come April. Classic match that everybody's been looking forward to, and 
I think wanting would be Cody Rhodes versus Gold Dusk at WrestleMania. They're gonna have to take the tag belts off them at some point. So why not do it here? And then they're both in the Royal Rumble itself. So why not take the tag belts off of them and have them turn on each other at the Royal Rumble? Boom. There's your first feud of WrestleMania right there. So I'm actually going to go with uh, New Age Outlaws uh, winning this one. Um, could be wrong, though. They could, you know. Cody Rhodes and Goldust could still win it and then turn on each other at the Royal Rumble. Anyways, you know, so who knows? Uh, New Age Outlaws looking good, though, lately. They're still in pretty good shape. Well, they better be. They're, you know, they're, they're training guys in the back, so. Yeah, they're training guys and are being agents, so. Got to stay in shape somehow. Um, then we got Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. I touched on that a little bit earlier. Uh, that's going to be a really, really good brawl. I see uh, Brock Lesnar coming out on top of this one. Um, you know, they've been, you know, he came back a few weeks ago, so they're trying to make him look big for Mania season. Uh, yeah, you should give him definitely give him a win uh, going into the Elimination Chamber, consider, considering he said he's the new number one champ. Uh, New number one contender for whoever wins Cena or Orton. So, so we'll see that. Um, yeah, Lesnar's going to win that one. Definitely. Then we got, uh, yeah, Danny Bryan's cleared to wrestle. He'll be facing Bray Wyatt because uh, he left the Wyatt family officially last week and had that insane crowd chant that made news all over the place um, and we got uh, John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title match uh, I don't know kind of kind of hard it's like you think, well if you figure Lesnar is going to win against the big show and he's going to face which one do you think he's going to face I mean is he going to face Randy Orton or John Cena we've seen Lesnar versus John Cena before and we know how that ended you know John Cena got his ass handed him handed to him the entire match and then and then he won uh, but he hasn't faced Randy Orton before at least not, not that I know of uh, so at least that'd be a little more original. Uh, that could also be a babyface turn for Lesnar, depending on how bad you hate either one. Um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with Randy Orton winning this one. Um, and then that'll set up uh, that'll set up some kind of rivalry right after the Royal Rumble for Cena versus whoever at Mania. Maybe Undertaker, maybe someone else. Well, we'll see. Uh, but that's my guess. Um, Royal Rumble, man. There's a few top people that could win. Um, Twenty have been announced. Uh, so there's ten empty slots. And it was announced tonight that CM Punk is the number one entrant. Thanks, Kane. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, so he's got he's got quite an uphill battle right there, CM Punk, uh, trying to get through twenty nine other guys. Um, right, he's got a good chance of winning. You know, usually when they make a big deal out of oh you're number one, instead of it doesn't matter you know who's number one, um, yeah, he might win it. Uh, the Shield obviously is going to look good in this match. I think Seth, uh, not Seth Rollins, uh, Roman Reigns is going to uh, be looking pretty dominant in this match. Um, I don't know. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. My pick, honestly, would be uh, CM Punk. Thanks for watching.